New drastic steps are being taken in Maryland to slow the spread of the coronavirus, and there are sweeping new guidelines across the country impacting your daily life. The number of cases in our state has now jumped to 43. We've learned a woman in her 20s in Baltimore City tested positive for coronavirus. WJZ has team coverage, but we begin with Amy Kawada and the necessary but unprecedented orders from the governor. Good morning, Amy. Good morning, Lynn. You don't have to go too far to see or feel these changes. Here at the Rotunda, we have a restaurants, a movie theater, and a gym, to name a few. All have closed its doors yesterday, along with the rest of the state, as the governor tries to curb the spread of COVID-19. This is going to be much harder, take much longer, and be much worse than almost anyone is currently understanding. Governor Larry Hogan had back to back appearances Monday as he tried to drive home the severity of the coronavirus crisis. We really can't wait for decisions at the federal level. The governor ordered the closure of all restaurants, bars, movie theaters, and gyms as state leaders try to stop the spread of the virus. We're trying to add another 6,000 hospital beds capacity as quickly as possible. I've directed them, directed them to open as many of the closed hospitals as possible. Sinai Hospital opened up a drive through testing facility, but you'll need a doctor's order and an appointment. On Monday, students started a two-week hiatus from the classroom. Man, there's a possibility that time off could be extended. We'll be talking about issues that they have thought about and things that we can do in preparation for a potential prolonged periods. This comes as cases surge statewide. New cases popped up in Howard County, at least one at a nursing home. Baltimore City also reported a second positive case. And something to keep in mind, if a restaurant offers carry out, that service will continue. Essential services like grocery stores and pharmacies will also remain open. The whole goal here is to stop large crowds, 50 or more from congregating and spreading the virus. Reporting live from the Rotunda this morning, I'm Amy Kuwata for WJZ. Thank you, Amy. It is 634 now, and the mandate from the governor is forcing countless businesses to make major adjustments. Stetson Miller now is live in Fells Point with how some businesses are adapting to these big changes. Good morning, Stetson. Tim, good morning. Yeah, unfortunately, no more drinks, appetizers, or dinner at any of the restaurants here in Fells Point or anywhere in Maryland for the time being. But right now, it's only takeout or delivery. It was a bittersweet moment. For owners Melissa and John at Penny Black in Fells Point. I thought this was coming, but I was really surprised it was so soon. Um, I thought I'd have a few days to prepare and transition from being open to being carry out. They closed up shop at 5 p.m. on Monday after Governor Larry Hogan made the announcement to shut down all bars, restaurants, movie theaters, and gyms in the state. However, the order does still allow for restaurants to continue carry out, drive through, and delivery services. We're sort of figuring it out as we go. A lot of it is going to depend on what. Um, what kind of um, food we can get delivered. As coronavirus cases rise, Towson Town Center and White Marsh Mall shut down their food courts and announced changes to their hours, operating now only from noon to 7 p.m. Monday through Saturday. This is uh, a serious crisis that we need to take seriously, and so I, I think that there will be more adjustments made um, daily, if not hourly, as we continue to move forward into what's ahead. And many local shops and restaurants are urging customers to call ahead because their restrictions or hours might change. We're live in Fells Point this morning. Stetson Miller for WJZ. Thank you, Stetson. And following the governor's announcement yesterday, the Maryland Zoo in Baltimore says it will be closed until at least Monday, March the 30th. All programs and events will be postponed or canceled, and the zoo bloom will not be rescheduled. There are more than 4,600 cases of coronavirus in the U.S. 85 people have died. Riley Carlson reports for WJZ. The outbreak is forcing local governments around the country to take drastic measures. On Monday, President Trump praised his administration's response to the coronavirus outbreak. I'd read it at 10. But warned the crisis could last through the summer. We're going to be hopefully a best case, not a worst case, and that's what we're working for. New CDC guidelines say for the next two weeks, all Americans should stay home from work and school, avoid social gatherings of more than 10 people, and avoid eating and drinking at bars, restaurants, and food courts. For now, those are just recommendations. Let's go. 
Local governments like New York have ordered the close of many businesses like McSorley's Ale House. Don't really know when we're going to open. It could be weeks, months, we don't really know. Seven million people around San Francisco are under a shelter in place order. Most only allowed to leave for food, medicine, or exercise for the next three weeks. I worry about paying my rent because I don't have a job where I can not go to work and still get paid. Grocery stores around the country remain open. Some have specific times just for seniors. Hi. Hi. Yesterday, Jennifer Haller and two others in Seattle received an experimental vaccine for the coronavirus. Turns out I am the first human to get the uh, COVID-19 vaccination. I know everybody feels so helpless right now, and I was so excited to be given this opportunity to actually do something tangible to potentially help thousands, millions of people. The study is one of several around the world, but health experts say a vaccine for the public is still at least a year away. Riley Carlson, CBS News. Concern over anticipated shortages of food and supplies is driving people to the supermarkets and other stores. President Trump says he spoke with more than two dozen grocery and supply chain executives yesterday, including Whole Foods, Walmart, Costco and Target. He urged them to keep the shelves stocked to keep Americans calm, but also said people don't need to buy so much stuff. Experts say do not worry because these shortages are simply unexpected demand. There could be periodic shortages and there might be times where consumers might not be able to get it for a couple of days, but uh, supply is flowing, machines are running, and the product will make its way back to the shelf. Experts say before you buy anything, please think about other people and only take what you absolutely need. We urge you to stay with WJZ on air and online. For the very latest on the coronavirus pandemic, we have a list of closures and cancellations at WJZ.com.